Hello everyone and welcome to BTV on Knots TV. Beeston's women's third England Hockey Premier Division match of the season and the cup winners are entering the game seeking their first goal of the new season. They face a team new to the top division in Swansea who are also yet to score and the two teams are looking to climb off the foot of the table. So stakes are high early in the 2020-2021 season. A warm welcome to viewers in Swansea who are watching at home. Croyoso Kunnes y Wilwe Unabutawi sin Gulio o Adre. On to the men's results. So this is the way things looked last week. You watched a, a cracking game on BTV in the last week. Beeston 2, Surbiton 5. We'll see highlights of that in a moment. Oxford versus Holcomb, the away side coming away. The victors there by three goals to one. And it was an away win for Wimbledon at Brooklands. Brooklands 1, Wimbledon 4. Old Georgians beat University of Durham by eight goals to nil. And Exeter scored two, but East Grinstead with a stronger team scoring six in that match. You can see the table to the left as we enter week three of the men's competition. Surbiton, East Grinstead and Holcomb 100% record so far. Two wins from two. Wimbledon in fourth place with four. And Beeston currently sitting in seventh place. Their draw on the first week of the season sees them have one point. Let's have a look at the men's Surbiton highlights. There may be about 10 minutes of this. It was a terrific game. Enjoy the highlights. I think this is an indication of the pace this game is going to be played at. I think that's right. This is the this is the dangerous bit. The turnovers from Beeston will come back to Portland if they're not careful. Into the circle from the word go, and that flash is just wide of the upright. I think that was uh, Ben Boone with a reverse side shot. That's what would worry me most of all, Andy. The, uh, the, the turnover in the count. Stop this kind of uh, interplay from the Surbiton players. I'm just out of breath watching this. This is a real big start. And have we had the first penalty corner of the game? I think we have. Yeah, some tight interplay on the D edge there and a little deflection onto a beast and foot inside the D. And that leads to a... Uh, yeah. Two options around the edge of the circle. You see the players just further back. It is... And it's been repelled by the beast and defence still live. And that is the opening goal of the game. Surbiton have scored. And it is... Adam Forsyth, I think he's taken the yeah. credit. Well, what a shame because the... Crossfield diagonal ball, that's bounced, should be picked up in the circle. That's worked out really nicely for Beeston at the baseline. Is that turned yep. in? Yes. It is, it's an equalising goal for Beeston. Now that is the perfect response. That and indeed, it's Alcalde who's turned the ball in from close range. The, um, the build-up play for that. But the stick didn't interfere yeah. with the play. Robbie Gleeson dropping his stick there. <laughs> but again, we've got that. that. Oh, here's a shooting opportunity. That's Push one comes in and hits the outside of the goal, head in his hands. Alan Forsyth, real golden opportunity for him and not taken. Being held up there for a free hit. A little bit of uh, frustration coming out from the Surbiton forwards. Ball played in towards the penalty spot. Could be a shooting opportunity. Loose ball blasted and in oh, for yes. the second for Surbiton. I think that's been deflected in from uh, James Gore. We'll see it again. Opportunities. Oh, it's unlucky. Effectively bounces off uh, the, the Beeston forwards. Space again, there Sarton we go. Turned it on very quickly. There's a player over here. Hujwan has been beaten, but the ball is wide of the upright. And you can see the arms out. Again, coming from the Beeston defence, try and win the ball back, make Serverton go yep. the long way. It's out towards the right hand side, pulling the beast in defence this way and that, and that's a penalty corner. First of the second half. Yeah, the the transfer that that pit, high up the pitch transferred very quickly out of a tight corner for Surbiton and across to the other side gave space for David. Also run other players in in front of the um, goalkeeper and the two post defenders uh, just to make things complicated. A little bit of movement for side this time, and that is, is the third. Low and hard, and there you go. It's um, makes it look very simple, really, and it's. Well, Gareth Griffiths needs to be well, very strong on that, and it's left a... Hudge one is down, and that is another one. I mean, the, if you, I don't know who's got a clock on that, but I, I think that was seven seconds from the ball with Gareth Griffiths to being put in the beat. For the visitors, 15 seconds till three-quarter time. Not a lot of hesitation from uh, Servicing in the way that they fire the ball around. It's Yes, it's been fired in. Is that been turned in? Yes, it is. Really good example there of um, getting the ball into the D. Penalty corner it is. So this is the one that goes in then, Andy. Let's see. 
Here's Dixon again. Goes out and lays it off and he receives it. And that is into the goal. <laughs> so, <laughs> thankfully, that's worked out. Dixon, beautiful finish. Instead of the, the two previous penalty corners were more direct. Approaches the baseline at the Boulevard end. Penalty corner. Penalty corner, yes. They could have done without that beast. And I think... Uh, obviously in committing to try to get this third goal to make that scoreline look very reasonable against a side like Surbiton has left with the ball under an intense amount of pressure here and got the ball towards the sideline but That's Surbiton get it back really quickly neat around the edge of the circle good block with a stick it was I thought but it yeah, is not it is another penalty call again. it's amazing isn't it how when you're as determined as Surbiton are they've um, six or no goal. Let's see. That's defended on the line, and it's a repeat oh. penalty corner. Well, the um, players from the top of the top of the D for Surbiton ran in to, to deflect, and I think so Simon Hudran saw that. Down he goes, and, and that gone. is over the line, and that is the full-time whistle. What a game we brought you today Very good. on BTV. Every game should be aspire to be as good as this that we've seen over the past 70 minutes. What a performance from both teams and it was yeah. a, a blisteringly close. First. And that's what it was on a sunny day last week here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. The conditions are slightly wetter than they were a week ago. As you can see, the teams are getting their final instructions before we get to go. So let's have a look at the positions in the table as things go. Three minutes away from the end of time, Hampstead and Westminster 2, Loughborough 4 is a latest score, a little bit of a turn up there, Loughborough starting very well to the start of the season, East Grinstead though are 2 from 2 at the moment, so you can see at the bottom it's Beeston and Swansea both looking for their first win of the season, both teams looking for their first goal of the season as well, very important game and uh, both teams looking to kick on from this match today. Here are the match day 16s for you. Jenny Rizzo is in goal for Beeston, Nicola Moss, Alice Huddleston, Lauren Burrell, the captain, Julian Wolgamuth, Kelsey Riddell, Jess Hood, Sean Emsley, Paige Gillett, Martha Lawrence and Rubia Pula are the starting 11 for Beeston. For Swansea in goal, Jana Patsina, Lauri Ratti, Lauren Dunn, Louise Loughlin, captain Catherine Gierak, Hannah Griffiths, Rebecca Trahane, Jess Lee, Nathan Thompson, Benson Thomas and Jess Rowe are the starting 11s for Swansea. Beeston in the dark shirt, Swansea uh, in the light white shirts with a green patch and green score. Your umpires today, by the way, just to bring you up to speed. And at Harvey and Claire White, they're in green today as well. So it will be Swansea to get us going. Swansea will be playing from right to left attacking the car park end in the first half. Beeston in the black shirts, and from left to right attacking the boulevard end. And already there's been a turnover of possession, and Beeston get the benefit of an early whistle here and look to press down the right-hand side. Strong start from the Bees, Lauren Burrell moving forward. You can see Beeston not afraid to commit people forward early on. So looking to defend Stoutly and Beeston work it towards the edge of the circle and it's a free hit in a very promising position. In possession, Rubio Pula looks one way or the other, plays it towards the edge of the circle. It's being held up and towards the baseline, but that's beyond the 1-2 for a Pula and Swansea get a defensive hit. You can make out on the picture it is a very, very wet day here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. Aerial ball, out of defence, bounces once, bounces twice, and the Bees get the whistle from the aerial. Pula again, looks to find a teammate. She's decided to run with the ball and play it towards the baseline. That's taken nicely. However, the umpire's whistle intervenes and Swansea get the ball again. Running into a bit of traffic. The Bees have the ball on the side. Again, leaving it to another player. Jess Hood there. Big call of five, so looking to get the distance away from the sideline ball. Here's a pooler again. Gillette plays a ball along the halfway line, looking to reroute the direction of the attack from the right towards the left, ball towards the baseline. That's been intercepted by Swansea on the far side. 
and it's been topped a little bit. Possession has been given away to Beeston. Swansea still finding their feet in this game so far. Fortunately, the ball dribbles through to Lauren Burrell. Puts the ball out of the Swansea reach. And again, towards the right corner flag at the Boulevard end. Twisting. Ball has been carried over the line. And it is a beast and ball. Instructions coming as to exactly where to start. Here's Nicola Moss. Makes one way. Continues the move. Has it been knocked out of play? Yes, it has, and it's a Swansea ball. Now, can Swansea work something from here and leave a little bit of pressure that's been building in the first three minutes or so of the game. Interception. And have the bees come away with it? No, they haven't. So very nearly intercepted again. First time over halfway for Swansea, running with it. Betts and Thomas. Drain. building a little bit of possession a good challenge in the middle of the field and quite a long burst on the whistle sees possession coming back from the restart from Swansea Roke, former B, is 23 in possession now fires the ball towards the edge of the circle stops the ball making its way into the circle and finds a teammate. Pressure coming from Swansea, looking to win the ball back high. At the moment, it's the Bees that are trying to assert themselves onto the game. Swansea, though, have possession. The ball on the outside of the circle now. Kevin Thompson involved in that. Still close to getting the ball here. She is in possession now. Tapped away. Still loose on the edge of the circle. Can the bees get it clear? Well, they will now. Ball coming off the foot there, waiting to see if any advantage arrived, and there wasn't. So it's going to be a free hit for the bees. going to ground over on the far side. Also goes in favour of the away side. Quite a stop-start period in the game. And we'll go back to here. These are making their first substitutions of the game, rolling substitutions throughout the game. Row making that work for Swansea. Although well, that's been touched out. Train giving possession back to Beeston via the sideline. Good tempo about the start of the game. And a crispness to the way that Beeston are moving the ball around. Whiting. Invites the fielder to run forward. And it's just been touched out of play. Pressure coming. Trying to stop Swansea from coming out. Forcing an error, maybe. Has this... Yes, it has. Lauren Burrell has won the ball back for the Bees here. That's a neat pass inside. McKee. Turns, plays the ball into the circle, but no one's there to benefit. Umpire gets a good look at it, doesn't take a touch, so it'll be a defensive hit out for Swansea.
Swansea looking to play down their right hand side, but that comes to nothing. Bees looking to survive a little bit of pressure. Good challenge and good pressure from Swansea. Making the Bees having to think about things here. Check it though. Plays the ball back into defence. Keeping Swansea at arm's length at the moment. Whiting takes the ball inside and does well here. And over a possession once again. Trahane keeps the ball in on the left. There's a foot in there. Free hit. Rope. Decides to play it inside. Swansea with players forward here. Flick ball forward to the Beeston left. And it's a sideline ball for Beeston. Eight minutes gone. No goals here. And possession turned over. And this is nice from Trahane. Making away towards the edge of the circle. Shooting opportunity possibly here. Making it as difficult as possible in the Beeston defence. Might there be a foot in the middle of that as well. And that's well defended ultimately from Beeston. First time there's been any real penetration into the Beeston defensive circle from Swansea. And Beeston have held up the plate. And not only that, won a defensive free hit out of it as well. Swansea really holding up the play here. We've got a whistle though. As a raft of substitutions happen for the away side. Swansea then have the free hit here. Touched out of play. It'll be a beast and ball here. Four quarters of 17 and a half minutes. Where the, the game's played here. Whiting as well. Nice strength on the right-hand side. Can she find a ball into the circle? She gets another attempt here. Has to check back. Does well under a lot of pressure here. The key in towards the circle now. Is there a layoff? Very composed ultimately from Swansea. To see the ball out of harm's way. Intercepted though, out of defence. Moss with a layoff. Ten minutes gone. Awaiting the first real breakthrough here. It's women's Premier Division game. Both teams, as I mentioned at the start, are looking for their first goal of the season. And I think the first goal today will be very important indeed. Who will score it? Obviously Swansea. They're looking to make sure it's them. Strickland. Nicely taken. And space opening up here for Beeston. There's a little bit of support. And that is neat again. Huddleston races towards the baseline. She made her way into the circle. She looks for a foot. She's appealing for a foot, but there wasn't one there. Ball popping up off the stick. Another long blow on the whistle, and Beast are not wasting any time as they look to work the ball in towards the circle. A firm stick in. Good stepping out. I think Jess Rowe involved there, although the Bees have it again. Very committed, and the ball's fired in towards the circle. And Swansea get the benefit of the whistle. We'll play out from the back. And one and a half minutes gone. If you are, in my view, I think Beast have had the better of the first knockings of the game. 
it's still very much up in the air. Swansea have shown that they're very neat on their counter-attack. Big call to play on. Easton into the circle. The ball been kept in. It has. Swansea, though, again, can clear with a defensive free hit. Incremental movement along the sideline from Swansea going through the air this time. Is there anyone there to make the most of it? It's going to roll over the baseline. The bees will play out from the back. Important game early in the season for both teams. Just underneath the camera, Nicola Moss works it. Gets the sideline ball for Beeston. Little involved. 15 in the middle of your picture now. And that's a nice take. Move comes to nothing again. It's been quite an open game. Coming up off the stick and an opening here for Swansea, although umpire blows and turns possession back over to Easton. Easton on their bike quickly, bringing the ball over halfway. Huddleston taking it a long way over the 23. Plays the ball in the reverse side and there were two players possibly there to turn it in. Rebecca Malian, I think, was closest to that, and that's the best scoring opportunity for either side we've had in the game so far. Great work down the left from Huddleston. Pressure coming instantly on towards Swansea. Ali Christopher is the number five for Swansea. One of the new recruits for Swansea in this new season. Coming from uh, America, Brooklyn University. Beeston having a lot of joy down the right-hand side at the moment. Kept in, inside the circle, and is there a foot there? Yes, it is. It's the first penalty corner of the game, and it's gone the way of the hosts. Let's have another look at this again. Nicola Moss. And Maddie Newitt finding the foot in the circle. So this is where... Eastern can work their set pieces. We saw in the first game there was a penalty corner against Hampstead and Westminster towards the end of the game, which wasn't controlled on the edge of the circle. So I'm sure this is something that have been worked on over the course of training. Quite a number around the edge of the circle. Wolgham likely to take it. He plays it in towards the goal. And it's a repeat penalty corner. Wolgham are taking a step to the side, playing the ball towards the goal. So will it be There's the replay. So will it be similar or something different this time? Same player again goes low. And has that been turned and it's been flicked away? Umpire having to take evasive action from the ball. Well defended Swansea. Two penalty corners for Beeston in the first quarter of the game. A minute to go. A long corner for the Bees. Looking to build on this. 
is there. An opening goal ahead of all of this pressure from Beeston. Towards the baseline, played in across the face of goal. Goalkeeper comes out. And Swansea will defend. With a defensive free hit. That's trapped. And this is good pace from Beeston. Blocked again from Swansea. I think they've found a foot out of defence. And I think the first quarter will peter out. With a defensive possession for the away side. Although, there's a turnover. Could this be a chance? No, they won't. Beeston finishing the first quarter on a bit of a high. But it is Beeston nil, Swansea nil. For Stats fans, that's the first quarter that Swansea have played without conceding a goal in their spell in the Premier Division. So, improvement from them can bring you the result from the early game today. Hampstead and Westminster 2, Loughborough students 4. Loughborough students go top of the division with two wins and a draw out of their first three games so far. Local rivals here of the Bees and it's nice to see a new team towards the top of the division. Elsewhere on 100% East Grinstead are still on 6 and as you can see on, this, on the screen it's Bees to nil, Swansea nil. It is a rotten day here weather-wise. We're hoping to brighten everything up with a decent game. It's been a good contest so far. Beeston, as I said, probably on top of things as things stand. You can see Colin Clark giving instructions with his uh, hood on the top of his head there. I spoke to him before the game. He was hoping that given the way that the results have gone and the difficult fixtures that the Bees have faced in the first two games of the season that this is a game where it's possible to try and build some momentum and uh, that's what he was hoping for for this game and I think we've seen a positive start but also Swansea very very much in it as we approach the start of the second quarter this is BTV live coverage from the women's premier division of hockey Beeston nil Swansea nil as the second quarter gets underway Swansea, as they did in the first quarter, get us going in the aerial ball from the word go. Bounces a couple of times and over the baseline, so trying something different there. Possibly hoping for a defensive mix-up, which never came from Beeston. Apula plays the ball back into the centre of defence. The Bees looking to work the ball around again. It's been crisp. And I think we're about to see the first card of the game here. I think Beth Wood of Swansea is uh, being shown a green card. I'll get confirmation of that in a few moments. So Beeston will certainly be a player up here as they look to bring the ball towards the boulevard end and they've got a free hit from a very promising position here. Five metres away from the edge of the shooting circle. Lost stick in the middle of that. And the Bees will go again. Space opening up towards the right-hand side of the circle, but turnover. Could this be a shooting chance? No, it isn't. Composed defending. Ali Christopher. <laughs> Confirmation, it's Katie Ball Wright, who's been shown the green card. So it's a two-minute temporary suspension for her. So can the Bees make something of this? At the moment, from a Swansea perspective, this is where they want to keep the ball. Houston can't score from here. However, pressure is starting to build as the ball makes its way towards the circle. Looking for a foot, but no foot there. Steady defence again from Swansea. Ball popping up off the stick. And Swansea have the free hit. Off and running again. 
And the ball's been taken out of play. Must have come off a decent stick last, as it's a Swansea ball. And ball popping up off the stick. to get things going in a hurry but run into a bit of traffic pace from Jess Hood trying to get the ball the goalkeeper's come a long way I've seen that appeal for a foot Swansea retreat to defence Apula brings the ball over the 23 and that's a penalty corner and I think we're going to see a card here as the clock has been stopped. That looks like a green card. Let's have a look at that again if we're able to. So the ball being switched quite quickly. Whiting. There's the run from Apula taking the ball over the line. I think it's a bit of a body check here. And Laurie Ratty, number three, has been shown that green card. So the first suspension is over. And there's... As soon as it is, Swansea back down to 10 players. So the third penalty corner for Beeston. They've had two relatively successful ones, which have been defended well by Swansea. What's the third one like? Let's have a look at, good look at this one. Moving it towards the left, low. Swept in, goalkeeper's blocked it. And the whistle goes in favour of Swansea. So three penalty corners, three pretty nice routines from the home side, but without any reward. Swansea doing well. Just checking the goalkeeper's okay there. Yep, everything's good. Aerial ball on the edge of the circle. Play continues onwards. Good pace. Strickland held up here. And Swansea moving it forward through Caitlin Thompson. Thompson into the circle and towards the baseline. Tries to find a teammate. There's space opening up here. Can the bees clear it? They can. Game opening up a fair bit now. Beeston. Get the whistle. Just the speed opening. Uh, speed increasing ever so slightly. Two teams looking for that first goal of the season. Nice layoff. Whiting. Comes the ball forward into the 23. She's still going. Firm stick. In the Swansea defence now. Moss into the circle towards the baseline. Is there in a, anyone in a black stick to receive the ball? No. And Swansea will clear. Checking over there, that uh, green card I think has expired now. So Swansea back up to a full complement of 11 players. Houston trying to make a real nuisance of them, put themselves out, out of the Swansea defence. But Swansea brought the ball forward quite well here. Shepherding the forward player towards the corner flag. Support coming in the shape of... Ali Christopher. Ball just slightly tapped out of play. So with it on the side is the Swansea captain, Catherine Gehrig. That's through everybody. And the umpire signalling it is a beast and ball. You can see uh, goalkeeper Jenny Rizzo in the yellow with a, with a pads on there. There is only one match ball, so players have to retrieve the one match ball because it's been sterilized and it's all COVID secure. If any of the players touch it with their hands, it means we need a new match ball. We have seen that a couple of times already this season. And that's a steal in a promising position for Swansea. In towards the circle. What's Rizzo got in the beast and goal? It's been tapped behind from a beast and stick. Long corner for Swansea. Swansea dangerous on the break. Garrick decides to play it back. 
Firm stick on the edge of the circle. Swansea have it back again. And another free hit. Decent spell for the visitors. We'll go again from there. It's towards the sideline. Blocked by the bees on the far side in this pace, in this counter-attack here, and support coming up now. Can the pass find a teammate? Chop inside. It was just a little bit too busy to get through. Now, Beeston in a second wave of this attack. Whiting laying it off to McKee. McKee deciding to go the long way around. There is support in the circle. She goes back onto the left, and she's in towards the circle, but shepherded away. This is turning out to be a really interesting game. Apula looking to win the ball back and make progress towards the boulevard end again. Most of the good stuff, in my view, coming down the beast and right in this first half so far. Whiting again. And there was a whistle in there that which you may not have picked up on, so it'll be a Swansea ball. quite how it was intended as Swansea have possession here now is there support coming in can they go all alone it's laid off there's no one in a white shirt to make the most of it Beeston labour a little bit to get it out of defence and a big appeal from both sides as to who knocked it out of play it will be a Beeston ball That one coming straight off the Swansea stick for a beast of defensive hit. So Swansea really coming into the game here. That's been kept in play on the far side. Pace again from Beeston and that's been taken nicely as well on the run. There is support there, and that's been turned in for the open goal of the game, and that's the first goal of the season for the Bees. Bees lead Swansea by one goal to nil. Flowing quick counter from Beeston. And there it is, turned in by Maddie Newitt for Beeston's first goal of the season. A new player from Cambridge City, just 18 years old, puts Beeston in the lead. Now, we know the first goal, as I mentioned, was important in this game, and it's the home side that has it. Swansea though, looking to reply as soon as they possibly can. Decent field position this, but of course there's an awful lot of black beast and shirts blocking the route towards the shooting circle, although it's in now. Ball bobbling around and carried over the line off a beast and stick, long corner for Swansea. Defended stoutly. A decent defence. I think that may have just come off a foot for Swansea. Yes, that's what's been given.
incremental progress along this near side in front of the camera. Whipping the ball over halfway. Fires whistle blows and Beeston quickly on the attack again. There's a good one into the circle. Goalkeepers come out. Long corner. I must say, defender did very well there. At the risk of potentially giving away a penalty corner and, of course, a, a goal as well with a shot coming in. So Beeston again building ahead of steam. A puller into the circle. Long corner. Kelsey Briddle decides to lay it back to Nicola Moss. Olgamuth, she's again number 10. Neat, neat touch. Releases a puller who runs into a little bit of trouble. And the whistle goes against her. And Swansea will be able to clear. Close to being a fair challenge from Jess Hood. Not quite so in the view of the umpire. And that's a nice turn from Rebecca Trahane. She will go again. I suspect that there wasn't five metres there. So Lauren Dunn drifts the ball across the field. And turnover possession is quick and Beeston looking to make hay while the sun shines. Goalkeeper comes out, come out a long way. Ball still in the shooting circle. Huge appeals. Penalty corner is the outcome. As the rain drives down, let's have a look at this again. Huge appeal for a foot advantage given. And another appeal which was given there. So three very good looking penalty corners so far. Wolgamoth, the likeliest, number 10, just to the left of centre. and underway it's played low goalkeepers come out a long way and that's a repeat penalty corner <laughs> penalty corner number five now that's really starting to mount up for the home sides as we tick into the 34th minutes now look at what happened here the ball being played low and hard let's break off from that Corner will be delivered. That's being turned in for the second. Really nice move and turned in by the captain, Lauren Burrell. Look at this one, finding the player open on the right hand side and just had to stick the ball into the goal. Simplest of tasks, and the Bees are two goals to the good versus Swansea. So the fifth penalty corner was the one that's being converted. Whiting in the thick of things here. So is Apula as well. Certainly the sort of performance so far that Colin Clark was looking for. Certainly confidence starting to rise in the Beeston camp as they approach the end of the first half of play. Half-time break coming after 35 minutes, of course. Two quarters of 17 and a half minutes. And a half. 
And I think, as was the case at the end of the first quarter, the second quarter will drift towards a conclusion. Whiting now. Looks to go long. That's a nice take from Burrell. And that is the umpire's whistle signalling the end of the first half. And it is Beeston that have the lead over Swansea by two goals to nil. Maddie knew it, the new signing from Cambridge City, scoring the opener. And the first goal of the season for Beeston. And the second one coming a few moments before the end of the first half. Lauren Burrell making it 2-0, converting a penalty corner with what looks to be the simplest of chances, but you still need to be composed and do the job. So it is Beeston that have the lead over Swansea by two goals to nil at half-time. A quick look at where we are, if you've been watching and enjoying our coverage over the season so far. You can come down and watch the game. And the next one is Beeston's men versus Durham University. If you'd like more details, head to beastonhockeyclub.com forward slash season ticket and you can find out where we are and join in the fun yourself. So that's it at half time. Quick recap again. It is Beeston 2, Swansea 0 after the end of a very interesting first 35 minutes on BTV. Back over to Beeston. Beeston on their bike quickly, bringing the ball over halfway. Huddleston taking it a long way. Over the 23, plays the ball in the reverse side and there were two players possibly there to turn it in. Beeston having a lot of joy down the right hand side at the moment. Kept in, inside the circle and is there a foot there? Yes it is, it's the first penalty corner of the game and it's gone the way of the hosts. Around the edge of the circle. Wolgamuth likely to take it. He plays it in towards the goal. And it's a repeat penalty corner. Wolgamuth taking a step to the side. The replay. So will it be similar or something different this time? Same player again goes low. And has that been turned and it's been flicked away? Umpire having to take evasive action from the ball. Well defended Swansea. Two penalty corners for Beeston. In the first quarter of the game, a minute to go. Appeal for a foot. Swansea retreat to defence. Apula brings the ball over the 23. And that's a penalty corner. And I think we're going to see a card here as the clock has been stopped. Captain play on the far side. Pace again from Beeston. And that's been taken nicely as well on the run. There is support there, and that's been turned in for the open goal of the game, and that's the first goal of the season for the Bees. Bees lead Swansea by one goal to nil. We're off and underway. It's played low. Goalkeeper's come out a long way, and that's a repeat penalty corner. Penalty corner number five now. That's really starting to mount up for the home sides as we take corner will be delivered that's being turned in for the second really nice move
Welcome back to commentary of the England Hockey Women's Premier Division. Beeston have the lead over Swansea by two goals to nil. Beeston scoring their first goals of the season in the process. At the moment, it looks like the home side are in the driving seat. However, with the next 35 minutes still to play, anything can happen. And so often does on this pitch at Nottingham Hockey Centre. Swansea have shown good form and shown a goal threat when they've gone forward so this is absolutely not in the bag for the bees so Beeston in the dark shirts attacking the car park end in the second half Swansea in the light white shirts playing from left to right towards the boulevard end in the second half if you're just joining us a recap Maddie knew it scoring for Beeston that was the opener open play and converting a penalty corner captain Lauren Borrell the top scorer last season on target in this new season so we are set and ready to go I wonder what instructions have been given to the teams in the second half as they were getting their coaches instructions see on your screen it's not a very pretty day here at Nottingham I suppose it's good weather for hockey playing certainly adds an extra zip to the ball when it moves across the top of the surface and instantly Swansea earn themselves a free hit Beeston really looking to win the ball back high up the field Alice Huddleston with a little check run there and a turnover has happened. There is Huddleston towards the baseline. And she's made her way into the circle. Is there a foot there? No, there isn't. Play on. Play it down. Just checking everything's okay over there. Here, possibly instructions of Colin Clark. Higher shouting. Second half not really started with the same intensity as the first half finished, but of course, there's an awful lot of time left. Moss brings the ball a fair way. There's a nice layoff, quick first time ball towards the edge of the circle. That's been missed. Ball's in the circle for Beeston. It's been tapped back. Shooting opportunity, and that's a penalty corner. First of the second half. And Beeston sixth overall. I think all of that coming from a defensive miss here. There's the layoff the shot and I think coming off the player nearest to the shot so to inject the ball is Nicola Moss 10 with a player back to you is Wolgamuth likeliest player but there's quite a few options around the edge of the circle nearest to the goal in the picture is Paige Gillett goalkeepers down still loose in the circle and Swansea clear it. It's uh, Martha Lawrence for the attempt there. And Swansea breaking quickly down their left hand side towards the boulevard end. Has the ball been carried over the line? Yes, it has by a Swansea stick. And Beaster will clear. But as I mentioned, Swansea have looked impressive on the attack. They've got pace, they've got skill on the ball. I think it's uh, an end product at the moment that Swansea, should they find it, That'll be a real threat in this game. A little bit of stick on stick. Goes the way of 
Easton, Chillip plays the ball out and whistle goes. Favour the bees. Newick, the goal scorer, laying the ball off, allowing Arthur Lawrence to come forward. Gathered at the second attempt. Playing out towards the left hand side. Space starting to open up. And that's been nudged out of play. That's the umpire signal. It's a long corner. Riddell. Just moving it around quite neatly. Trying to find an angle to get the ball towards the edge of the circle. Has that run out of play? Yes, it has. 39th minute here on BTV. Beast and have the lead over Swansea by two goals to nil. It's gone off the side, however, the Beast and player who was nearest wasn't five metres away. So it's uh, another ball now. This, uh, is this going to go out of play? Is it going to hit the flag? Yes, it does, ever so gently. So the ball's been carried over the, the baseline. As far as I can tell. No, it's a sideline ball. Chop clear. A little bit of a mix-up allows Swansea possession and able to get the ball towards the edge of the circle. Dealt with fairly neatly from a beast and perspective. They look to defend that ball into the circle. Bring it up towards halfway, just in front of the coaches' benches. Composed defending, and the space. And towards Burrell, scored the second goal. Nice layoff at the moment. A little bit of a coming together, and pace being injected by Kelsey Bredo. Smooth ball, and that's just beyond the edge of the stick. Was that kept in? Yes, it was. Swansea have possession, but under an awful lot of pressure in the defence at the moment. That's neat, and that also is pretty neat. Well played, Swansea, coming out of that. Danny well. Driven ball out of defence towards the Swansea right-hand side. Ball going a long way. I think there's a little bit too much on that. It's a bit too much for Hannah Griffiths, the number nine, to chase. 41st minute. Engaging game. Still plenty of time. With around about half an hour still to play. Now it's been picked up here by Swansea as they're over the 23. There's a bump, and it's a free hit just outside the circle. Jess Lee is number 12, who went to ground. Traherne plays it inside. It's in towards the circle, and Apula doing very well to not only collect the ball, but find a pass as well. And Beeston are breaking towards halfway. The third pass didn't quite work out. Turnover. Trahane. These all pun intended swarming in defence to try and win the ball back. And they have done so. Again, the pace and intensity has gone up a couple of notches here. All finding a beast and stick. More than not. Play being held up, I think Katie McKee. Here's Whiting. Fires the ball low into the circle, padded away from the goalkeeper. Shooting chance here, low, and it's a third for Beeston! Goalkeeper's foot, kicking the ball away, only as far as the attacker. 
Let's have a look at that ball in. Whiting hammering it low. Goalkeeper padding it. Picked up on the edge of the circle and hammered in for Kelsey Brunel. First goal for her in her third appearance in a Beeston shirt. So things looking fairly rosy for Beeston as things stand. Certainly can't afford to let the intensity slip. There's a lot of quality in this Swansea side and we've just had a long whistle. And we've got a another card here. That's the first Beeston card as far as I can tell. So the goal scorer has gone off for a bit of a sit down. Two minute temporary suspension. So Swansea are a player up here. Now, can they make something of this as they play the ball into the circle? Firm stick, firm first time take of the ball as well. Beast of breaking quickly over halfway. And that's good pace. Malice Huddleston, she's taken the ball a long way and she's still in possession of the ball that has been robbed expertly. Just wrote. Former beat, doing good things for Swansea. Nudged inside. And Jenny Rizzo in a beast and goal has to come and claim that because it would have been a long corner otherwise. Big calls of pressure from the Swansea bench. That whistle goes in favour of the bees. Neat on the beast and right again. Intercepted and turn over again back to Beeston. Closest to it is Katie McKee. And she's bringing it forward. She's been held up. And I think, are we going to see another card? No, we're going to see a not five is the signal. Just a long blast on the whistle. No card shown. Pressure from the Beeston forwards trying to win the ball back high up the field. Swansea will have it, keeping a close eye on the suspension bench. It looks like the suspension is over, so Beeston back to a full complement of 11 players. Progress breaking down for Beeston. So further out to the right this time, towards the corner flag. Knocked out of play, Beeston have it again. Swansea marking the space. Making it difficult to get the ball into the circle. However, it has been loose and fired wide of the upright beast and seeking a fourth. Picture Violet O'Neill, 35, making a debut today. Oh God, finding pass out to the right hand side. O'Neill does well. Things may have opened up there for Beaston, but they've still got possession of the ball, moving it quickly from side to side. Whiting, and that's a penalty corner, and we're about to see another card here. It 
Let's have a look at the events. So there's Whiting's run. I think she was just obstructed there, and that's what the uh, card's for. So another suspension. So Beeston have a player up, although they won't have any numerical advantage on this penalty corner. It's still four outfielders and the goalkeeper in the Swansea goal. left-hand side of the circle played out and it was looked to be tapped in in a reverse of the goal that was scored in the first half. I think uh, it was uh, McKee who was the intended recipient of the ball but it was just behind it. it was seventh penalty corner of the game for Beeston. Looking to see if I can get clarity on the colour of the card that was shown, if I can, but we'll, uh, we'll stand by as Beeston make their way towards the edge of the circle again. There's a layoff. Is this a shot? It's come off the goalkeeper. I've seen that doing the right thing. There was a green card shown. So it'll be a two minute suspension. McKee. Okay. Plays it towards the baseline, towards the edge of the circle. Who got the touch on that? It was a Swansea touch. Eastern ball, long corner. I hope you can hear the noise from the two sets of coaching teams giving their instructions to the players. Here's a chance to put some pace on the ball and towards the edge of the circle. It's popped up. Who's closest to it? A big of a appeal for a foot in there, and that was spotted by the umpire closest to it. That's the third penalty corner of this quarter for Beeston. They were quite close last time. Let's see what they can do here. There's the turn. There's the ball being played towards the line, and there's a clear foot in there. Penalised is Louise Lachlan, number six. Keep an eye on the movement around the edge of the circle. Who's going to run in? This is a clear tactic to look for the deflection close to the goal line. There's big movement out to the right, but it's low. The goalkeeper's got it this time. It's still with Beeston, though. Kept in. There's a little layoff, fired towards goal, but the touch isn't ideal, and Swansea can clear. Wise <laughs> run comes to an end. McKee now goes towards the player, retains possession, shields well, and has done excellently there. She's still running with it and gets a free hit out of that. Next break in play will be three-quarter time. That will be 52 and a half minutes. And we've got another penalty corner for Beeston. Let's, uh, let's uh, put a stoppage here, making sure that the protection is still in place for the players. Can't take too long over that.
slower ball this time and that's another one which was attempted to be deflected quite close to the frame of the goal he still leads Swansea by three goals to nil circle controlled on the halfway line O'Neill has the ball inside shielded well bringing it off to Apula now again building down the beast and right hand side and there's been another injection of pace here Swansea do get a stick on it it's a very congested part of the field of play. And that is the end of the third quarter. Beeston have the lead by three goals to nil over Swansea. Madeline Newitt. Madeline Newitt scoring the first goal of the season for the Bees on 29. Five minutes later, Lauren Burrell converting a penalty corner from close range. And Kelsey Bradell with the third goal, making it three goals to nil mopping up a ball out of defence and hitting it low into the goal for the third goal. So Beeston are 17 and a half minutes away from their first three points of the season. But there's absolutely no excuse to let up and get sloppy. Swansea are capable of getting on the score sheet and making life difficult here. It's a good performance from them. Here's a quick look at the other fixtures which are happening today. A result from earlier on. Hampstead and Westminster 2, Loughborough 4. As you can see, Beeston 3, Swansea 0, as you have been watching. And it's Birmingham 0, Surbiton 1. So the University of Birmingham at home, Surbiton, the league champions are a goal up as they approach the half-time there. Still to come today, East Grinstead versus Buckingham and Holcomb versus Wimbledon later on today. Loughborough students, though, lead the way in the table. So, final set of instructions being handed out to the players, Colin Clark and Zoe Hainsworth for Beeston. But, uh, Gareth Tarrett and Johan Bartlett, head coach and assistant coach. He borrows is the team manager for Swansea. So, are these the first three points of the season for Beeston, or is there a sting in the tail? coming from Swansea. 17 and a half minutes, we'll find out. We are off and running again. This is BTV and we're bringing you coverage of England Hockey's Women's Premier Division. On a very damp day in Nottingham. As Beeston look to get on the front foot quickly and they have a free hit here. Big shouts, but there was a player incoming. The Bees have a free hit, and again, not wasting any time, looking to maintain the pressure. It's out towards the left, running with it. Nicola Moss tries to find a way through. Her intentions are anticipated and blocked by the Swansea defence. Big shout to play it, although no advantage came from there, so they're going back to the free hit. restarting from top on the ball that's turned over the possession cheaply and these have it again out towards the right side line what's the option here towards the baseline or fire the ball in towards the circle being held up in the corner flag at the moment you can hear an awful lot of stick on stick the whistle blows, Swansea have the possession with a free hit. Crunched out of defence. And Beeston turn it over quickly. And in turn, possession is given back. And Swansea under a lot of pressure to try and get out of the defence. And they've done well 
to get it up towards halfway here. Volgova, nice spin to try and deceive the player in front of her, which is Olivia Strickland. That, however, is just beyond the reach on the far side. Gain down the side line for Swansea. Diagonal ball in field. Play stopped. Swansea might be able to build something here. Low hard in towards the edge of the circle. This is neat through an awful lot of congestion. Slip ball in towards the circle, played in. Goalkeeper's low and been beaten, but so is the ball past the upright. That could have been goal number four. A couple of touches. Goalkeeper was down. Big lofted ball taken down neatly. Jess Lee with a control. Malian, third time lucky. She's done incredibly well, Malian. And not wasting any time again on the home side. Quite a lot of whistling. position and moves forward. Although that trickles out of play. Not the worst place in the world if you're 3-0 up to have the ball go out. The longer it's down there, the better it is for Beeston, looking to secure their first three points of the season. There's a bit of a coming together there. There's a little bit of a limp as well from number nine, Hannah Griffiths. And I think she's making her way off the field. We'll keep a close eye on that. She's having to go down now. I wonder if play will be stopped. Yes. Hannah Griffiths, the number nine from Swansea. Looks like uh, something's not quite right with the right leg. She's up and still not walking particularly well. So... Hopefully everything's all right, and I suspect that's going to need some attention. So the support team. Need a little bit of help. Developing neatly down the beast and right, but it's rolled out of play. Quickly won back. Two players go down. And I think we've got another stoppage here. He's breaking down a tiny bit here. I think we may have a card coming.
So B's a player up here. That's the ball's in the circle. Goalkeeper's down and at the goal. It's been turned goalwards and wide of the upright. Nice spin, winning the ball back from Bridell. Bridell plays the ball towards the edge of the circle. Shooting opportunity, goalkeeper foots it away. It's still in the circle and it did hit a Beeston foot in the middle of that attack. Coming up to the hour mark, it's Beeston 3, Swansea now on BTV. At the moment, it's looking like three goals and three points. Somehow, though, I don't think the scoring has finished. Wouldn't be a surprise if either team get on the score sheet before the end of the game. That's nice again. Really nice from Bridell. Appeal for a foot, and that's been given. So a promising position to play the ball in. Rolls it back to Whiting. Spreading it around across the back. Maintaining possession, keeping it neat, simple. Don't give the ball away. That's been kept in, and it thought it had. And it was just rolled over. Swansea ball. Crunched out of defence. And Katie Mulroyd showing another card in this game. Just uh, winding back a tiny bit there. Confirmation it was Katie Mulroy who was... Uh, Showing the card earlier on, so Beeson still have a player advantage. Swansea work the way towards the boulevard end. But, uh, attack is broken up. Again, things opening up down the beast and right. Julie Whiting going to ground and she's still not got up there. And the play is stopped for attention for Whiting now. I'm not sure that was a foul or anything in particular. I think it may have been a slip, but she's still not up off the... Uh, Turf. She's now back up onto her feet now. You can't, can't see that on the picture, but she's just being attended to. That's the new signing from Bowden, Welsh international. Hopefully all is well, ultimately, for Whiting. So we'll restart from here. Beeston will have possession from the back. As the rain continues to fall, and a soggy Nottingham Hockey Centre day. Autumn has really turned up with a vengeance. Keep it in, yes. Making a quick beeline towards the baseline. Her play is held up. So it's a free hit. Okay, the support coming here. 
decides to go back and then play the ball in towards the circle. It's loose. That comes off a body of a Swansea player and it's another penalty corner for Beeston. I make this the first of the third uh, of the fourth and final quarter. There you go, having to take the ball out from the five metre line before playing the ball back in. Bouncing ball popped up. It just was one there and it came up off the unfortunate Lauren Dunn, giving away the penalty corner. So one converted already. A couple of candidates. Gillette and Wolgamuth, or will it be closer to the line? We'll see what the routine's like here. Wolgamuth plays it low. It's been cleared well. Umpire goes for a repeat. You can see, by the way, that the retreating player is limping, that that was uh, roughly where the hit was. First runner closest to it. Not a lot you can do about that. But good pace from the defender, getting close to it. And the foot being found. Wolgama to left of centre. Same routine, goalkeeper's down. Another appeal, and it's another penalty corner. Exactly where Beeston want the ball to be, with just over five minutes to play in the match. So here's the ball coming in. Player open on the Beeston left side of the goal. Goalkeeper scrambling well to get back up on her feet. And popping up, uh, the Laurie Ratti, number three. This time, it's deflected in for a fourth for Beeston. Excellent day at the office from the Bees. And I think it's a second for the captain, Lauren Burrell. Let's have a look at it again on the replay. But yes, it is. It's a second for Burrell. So from not having any goals in the bank, I got four Have the bees. And if my maths is anything like it used to be, that's doing wonders for the early season goal difference as well. got another turnover of possession yes uh, Swansea have it here looking to go inside I think there were a few calls for not five it's starting to break down a little bit and we've got another player going to ground and that's Katie McKee who's just gingerly get back in, uh, getting back up to her feet a couple of substitutions occurring on the Beeston side looking to secure the points with less than four minutes remaining now Beeston looking to go quickly from the side, but not that quickly. Decent stepping in from the defence of Swansea, and they've taken it out of defence in towards halfway. It's a decent layoff. Still plenty of endeavour. Beeston, though. Have been able to intercept and anticipate an awful lot of the Swansea movement. In a few moments, popping up on your screen, we'll have the player of the match. I don't know who that is yet. It'll be a, one interesting to find out. Here's the ball in the circle.
been a good performance all round. That'll be an interesting one for the selectors. Ariel out of defence. Taken down. Play will continue on us, and that's very neat indeed. That is released. Rebecca Trahench is into the circle. And it's been nudged behind from a Beeston perspective. Long corner for Swansea. Can they end the game on a high? Into the circle. And you can hear that hit the fence behind the goal. There's a shot on goal as we approach the final minute for Swansea. to the final minute great day at the office for Beeston can they end the game in possession and keep a clean sheet for the first time this season as well disguised ball to halfway Wolgabuff drives the ball diagonally pace from a puller turn in towards the circle and that's a close thing. Kelsey Bridell looking for a second of the game. Fired out of defence. Taken well on halfway. And finding a teammate as well. Turnover. That'll be a Swansea possession. And there is the final whistle. Terrific result for Beeston. First three points on the board for the Bees. First goals in the account for Beeston. Swansea's wait for a first goal in the Premier Division continues. Decent performance from the visitors, but Beeston too good on the day. Let's have a look at the match information. Four goals to tell you about. Maddie Newitt scoring first for Beeston, almost on the half hour. Court scoring from open plate. Lauren Burrell, captain, converting a penalty corner for 2 0. Kelsey Bridell making it 3 0. Making the most of a def defensive mix up, firing the ball into the goal. And the captain. Popping up with a second, converting a penalty corner for 4-0 at the end of the game. And let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, there were uh, two yellow cards in the middle of that for Swansea, which certainly didn't help things. Here are the latest scores, uh, score updates. University of Birmingham nil, Surbiton 2 in the half two start. They're in the 49th minute or thereabouts now. East Grinstead, Buckingham and Holcomb Wimbledon are later today. So as you can see, the table hasn't yet updated, but Beeston will be moving up to three points on the board with a minus one goal difference. So uh, up to uh, eighth position as uh, things stand, as uh, we're looking now. So quick mention as well, Lombrell, double goal scorer today, skydiving with Robbie Gleeson and uh, head over to the Beeston Hockey Club website for information on that one about the skydive we're raising funds. So all the details are on there. Well, it's been a pleasure keeping you company today. It's been a terrific day for the Bees. Three points on the board. What else is there still to come? Well, let's have a look at uh, coming up next time on BTV. It's Sunday, the 11th of October, match starting at 2 o'clock, Beeston versus Durham University men. You can pop down to Nottingham Hockey Centre and watch it BTV.live and of course our regular fixture now, Not TV, every Wednesday at 9pm. Tune in for that one. So it's been a really good day at the office. Yeah, best Beeston men versus Durham University, BeastonHockeyClub.com forward slash season tickets if you'd like to take advantage of a deal there popping down to Nottingham Hockey Centre and watching the games. So from all of us on BTV, it's been a pleasure keeping you company today. We'll be back next weekend. Until then, 
It's the Bees that have three points. Beeston having a lot of joy down the right-hand side at the moment. Kept in, inside the circle. And is there a foot there? Yes, it is. It's the first penalty corner of the game. And it's gone the way of the hosts. Around the edge of the circle. Wolgamuth likely to take it. He plays it in towards the goal. And it's a repeat penalty corner. Wolgamuth taking a step to the side. Seen up. Appeal for a foot. Swansea retreat to defence. Apula brings the ball over the 23. And that's a penalty corner. And I think we're going to see a card here as the clock has been stopped. Captain play on the far side. Pace again from Beeston. And that's been taken nicely as well on the run. There is support there. And that's been turned in for the open goal of the game. And that's the first goal of the season for the Bees. Bees lead Swansea by one goal to nil. We're off and underway. It's played low. Goalkeepers come out a long way. And that's a repeat penalty corner. Penalty corner number five now. That's really starting to mount up for the home sides as we take corner will be delivered that's being turned in for the second really nice move Here's Whiting fires the ball low into the circle padded away from the goalkeeper shooting chance here low and it's a third for Beeston Goalkeeper's foot, kicking the ball away, only as far as the attacker. Possession of the ball, moving it quickly from side to side. Whiting, and that's a penalty corner, and we're about to see another card here. It's a clear tactic to look for the deflection close to the goal line. There's big movement out to the right, but it's low, the goalkeeper's Got it this time. It's still with Beeston, though. Kept in. There's a little layoff. Fired. There's a slip ball in towards the circle. Played in. Goalkeeper's low and been beaten, but sows the ball past the upright. Wolgamer to left of centre. Same routine, goalkeeper's down. Another appeal, and it's another penalty corner. Exactly where Beeston want the ball to be, with just over... Uh, Laurie Ratti, number three. This time, it's deflected in for a fourth for Beeston. Excellent day at the office. And there is the final whistle. Terrific result for Beeston. First three points on the board for the Bees. First goals in the account.